consumers' perception of their leisure time is, is changing quite fundamentally. Uh, I think we live in a world where consumers are wanting more and more uh, from every experience they take part in. So that's true of leisure as well. We talk about the leisure upgrade. Uh, rarely now are consumers just looking to passively consume leisure. They're looking to benefit from leisure in some way, to come back from holidays with some new skill uh, or some new piece of knowledge that they can share with their friends to, to improve themselves in some kind of way. And I think that's true of many of the leisure pursuits that consumers today take part in. When it comes to the needs of the outdoor audience, uh, one of the key issues to think about is the potential role of technology. Uh, it's easy to think about the outdoor experience as being one that's divorced from technology, that people go to the outdoors to get away from technology. And that's true to some degree. But actually, uh, technology is, in, is going to increase uh, in frequency. It's going to change the nature of the outdoor experience. It's going to give people much more immersive uh, and detailed uh, outdoor experiences. They're going to use technology to improve, if you think about virtual reality, it's going to help them improve their outdoor experience. If you think of things like augmented reality, that's overlaying information on top of the physical environment that you're looking at through your phone. They'll know more about the mountain they're climbing than they ever knew before. When it comes to the changing needs of the tourism industry, I mean, that's a big question with many, many answers. I'll take a couple. Um, clearly, one of the massive opportunities is the hugely rising number of people coming to Europe, for example, from emerging markets. People coming on long haul travel for the first time with very little experience of tra traveling those kind of distances. Uh, so they need a lot of support and help uh, and uh, to make their experience a worthwhile one. That's one thing. Uh, another thing that's changing, of course, is the, the uh, degree to which consumers want real and authentic tourism experiences. It's not enough for them nowadays just to simply tick the boxes of the things that they need to see in Rome or Paris. Yes, they saw the Mona Lisa. Yes, they saw the Trevi Fountain. Increasingly, they want to know about the lives of people in those markets and understand culture in an authentic way, not just to tick lists of things that they could actually see on, on Google.